All right. What's up, boys? Watch your step. Uh oh. We got we got landmines everywhere. All right, boys. So here we go. See the update. Boomer's car, the car that'll never be yes, done. Uh, you can show that. To see, see what's going on. Huh? <laughs> yes, guys. So we're we're over here at Steve's Fab Shop, and as you can see, we got Boomer's car here. And as you can see, we got the front part of Boomer's car here. The sad thing about this, as, as you can see, all the different iterations of this build that we've tried to do. And that was after all the money and time spent on the engine bay were, were reduced to this. So let's go see what we got going on here. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Yeah, it's come to this. I guess... Uh, we're gonna be like street outlaws now. It's gonna be like yeah, a pro mod or something. Pro mod. <laughs> but yeah, with, if you guys caught the video last week, we showed his new turbo, which it's yeah, it's right there. yeah there it is, big uh, pro mod eighty eight, and it it was not going well, in 84. there or eighty four. Eighty two, I think. Eighty two. Eighty two or eighty four. It's big. We'll yeah. just say that. It's way bigger than that other one. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of where we're at with it. What kit? Do you know what kit this is? Uh, it's a Team Z front end. He had to modify this bar though, see? That, it did look like the, they did match uh -huh. with the turbos right here. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. So that bar was all in the way. So Steve is making big changes. It sucks because the engine bay was smooth. And <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty back there, but everything was so nice up front. But we're officially going full race with this one. It just slowly continues to spiral further and further out of control. So is the is the hot side, we're going to have to modify that too? I don't think so. Like everything else still bolt up? Yeah, I think all that's going to be fine now. Yeah, guys, that's a... Uh, Boomer's car is... Well, we did have to modify. It's got a bigger down pipe. Yeah. Flange, so... But he, we got parts for that. Yeah, so there... In case you didn't see the video, she's big. I and mean, this is the, the Motion Raceworks kit. And we put another waste gate on it. We got more, we got more turb ski parts. Yeah, it's going to have dual waste gates, and then there's the flange for the new, new oh, flange for the sweet. downpipe. Very, very cool. Turbo smart. A the V-band clamp. Hey, we got a t-shirt. Sweet. Thanks, Boomer. Got me a new yeah. shirt. And we got the and they, they always send a sucker. Yeah, always got the sucker in there. Yeah. Is, are they trying to tell us something? Or did mm -hmm. they do we get suckered on something and that way? They... Uh. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's the update on Boomer's car. It's uh it's going full race for sure. I'm not sure it'll ever leave because it just keeps getting a little more crazy. So yeah guys, while we're here, I had to show you Steve is uh Steve's getting his cage knocked out. And if you remember this car, this is the one that's got all the Detroit speed suspension, uh mini tubs, subframe connectors, the whole nine yards. Um Steve's going pretty wild with the cage. And if you didn't see where we built this cage um with Eastwood Company, it's a pretty good video, especially if you're considering doing it yourself. But yeah, there's the Detroit Speed Mini Tubs. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah, I know the feel. <laughs> I know the feeling. Too many vehicles. Yes, guys, we've got to get you an update on Lieutenant Dan. That may be sometime this week. We'll see. But uh, we're going to get you a shop update because looks everything looks a little different in the shop. Uh, real quick guys, if you caught the video last week, uh, the car and the truck both sold. Alex is doing something with the navigation here. Um, but yeah, they both sold for asking price. So, uh, kind of figured that knew they wouldn't last, but they're going to good homes for sure. Now we've got the F100 guys. I also, I've got some very, very large updates coming, 
uh, for Dover's truck uh, has to do, everything has to do with the interior and maybe that over there, but can't really say anything else. But also, um, until uh, until we get the blown coyote installed, Dover got a pretty good deal on this fast system. And it's a easy EFI. So we're going to throw that on there. Get the tank out of the cab. It's going to be pretty sweet. But yeah, guys, lots of F100 content. If you're here for F100 stuff, we've got some projects coming for you. And uh, it's going to be pretty freaking cool. All right, guys, and you'll also notice that the uh, Bimini Blue car is not here. It is at Nick's getting the engine bay done. So we'll probably have it back very soon. You can see the K member and all that is right there. Um, hopefully we'll have engine and all of that coming for the Bimini Blue car very soon. Uh, they're actually, as far as if you're wondering what the engine bay is going to look like, it's going to look just like Raymond's car, which is beautiful and there's his engine so yeah guys that's pretty much the what right now putting uh, hydro boost on this one and yeah converting it to hydro boost power steering all that good stuff but uh yeah we got we got lots of stuff coming for the f100 yes lots i mean lots 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 we'll do a little upgrade huh? yeah minor minor upgrade but actually guys the and if, if you are new to the channel, you haven't seen that. And I guess we probably need to open this big box. Yeah, let's open it. Yeah, let's open the big box. But yeah, guys, the ultimate plan for the F100 is, is hiding right here. As you can see, the Roush supercharger and... Yeah, and that ain't for a small block forward. They exactly. <laughs> the engine's in the other shop, isn't it? No, it's right there. All wrapped up. For the truck? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So there's the, there's the Coyote for the truck. So... Okay, but yes, guys, it, it's been sitting locked up in the garage. Let's see what's in the giant box from LMR. Let's see what we got here. All right, so what is in the giant box from LMR? Oh, I feel it. I feel it. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I freaking love it leave it white uh yeah we're gonna leave it you gonna lay the box there and we'll sit it on there all right guys so yeah here it is cats out of the bag as much as i hate to admit it we're putting a cow hood on my 92 and this is ho fiber trans man this thing is nice let's see i haven't even inspected it. it's never even been out of the box and see, that's a four inch, but it doesn't look, of course it's not on the car, but you can see it's got a nice and finished pretty well on the back and did quite a bit of research. I like the HO Fiber Trends, number one. Uh, it, it got good reviews and also um, it's not as heavy as like the Cervini's and uh, I was hoping to save a little weight. So there's a couple of reasons why I'm putting this on there because I'm kind of a flat hood guy. Uh, we need to let heat out of the engine bay. And also, there's gonna be possibly some things under the hood of my 92 coming soon uh, where I might need some clearance. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the what. And uh, I, I needed to go ahead and get this because the car is going up to Michigan for paint. And uh, then we'll have to try and paint the hood separately. So there it is, boys. We got us a hood. All right, boys, so that is pretty much gonna wrap it up from the shop today. Like I said, lots and lots of stuff going on. Um, keeping the variety flowing, boys. That, that's what it's all about. So I um, uh, appreciate everybody that's watching and liking and subscribing, and even you guys with the negative comments, we get a big kick out of those too. So keep them coming. Uh, in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, big thumbs up make sure you smash that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one later